What's up, everybody? Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is still relevant, and they released a brand new Pokemon yesterday. Or rather, they announced a brand new Pokemon. I don't even know how to call this. I mean, it, it is a thing now, I guess, with Gen 9, where, like, they announce one new Pokemon via a trailer, and they make a whole trailer just for one Pokemon. It's four and a half minutes. But yeah, anyway, so this trailer dropped yesterday and i did not react to it because i've been having a very long and exhausting week and i needed my sleep but thankfully i can do it now so better late than ever so this new pokemon is I apologize if i'm mispronouncing it because <laughs> it turns out i'm really bad at, mis at, at pronouncing all of the gen 9 pokemon for some reason uh paul chageist i mean it's a a variation of Poltegeist, which was released in the previous generation. Polti I actually really, really like Poltegeist and Sinistee, its pre-evolution. But I'm guessing this is a convergent evolution, as they were really, really popular with this generation. Even though, oddly enough, there was only like two. Like Toad School and uh, Wiglet. And of course, the Revolt Forms, if you count those. But I mean, by extension... Two to four. So it's nice to be getting a new one. Uh, let's uh, watch this. The Haunting Tale of Poltergeist. Again, hope I'm saying it right. And see how this Pokemon differs from its Galarian counterpart. Here we go. Welcome, children. Tonight, we gather as the shadows fall to bring you an exciting, astonishing show. This is a mysterious and haunting tale about a Pokemon. Once upon a time, there was a tea master who dedicated his life to perfecting the art of the tea ceremony and his pursuit of perfection bordered on obsession. Do not lift the tea bowl so high. Do not step over the utensils. Do not speak while handling the utensils. <gasps> what are you doing? Strictness soured his reputation. Eventually, not a soul would suffer his company. And without guests to entertain, his pursuits were meaningless. Regret is a bitter sick. As the tea master said this, he fainted from exhaustion. His short temper proved to be his undoing, a truth he never realized. The master's tea caddy passed from owner to owner. Until finally, after many years of neglect, the tea caddy started moving on its own and suddenly transformed into a Pokemon. The caddy then flew out of its storehouse. After some looking around, it noticed an ill-mannered woman and approached her. As the caddy sprinkled her with matcha for some reason, she sensed its presence and waved it away breaking a teacup in the process. Let me tell you, that really teed it off. Its temper rivaled the old tea masters. Later that night, the woman noticed her skin now possessed a peculiar glow. But the glow was short-lived, for trouble was brewing. The matcha steeped in her life force, sapped some of her strength as it returned to the caddy. How terrifying! Then, it began sealing up cracks with its matcha, starting with the broken phone. Then, a power outlet, some headlights, even Tinkerton's hammer. What? The tea caddy in this story is, in fact, the grass and ghost type Pokemon, Holchergeist. 
People say the tea master's regret still dwells in this caddy. Should you ever meet it, a proper greeting may save you from a bitter fate. Nice tea meet ya! Nice to meet you, <clears throat> yeah. Right then. Good. Now in the land of Kitakami, parents tell their kids, if you waste your food, Poltergeist will sprinkle you with matcha. Even flavoring things with matcha is forbidden there. Huh? Wasn't this chipped? Um... Oh, wait! It's been sealed? Oh no! My skin is glowing! Just... Well, that didn't end well. Okay. So I, I don't know, I'm still not a big fan of this idea that in order to announce a new Pokemon, you got to give it a full tra trailer. Like, what's that all about? They did it with, well, I suppose they did it all the way back in Legends Arceus with uh, the, the Hisuian Zoroa and Zoroark, but I mean... In Gen 9, they pretty much did it for every single Pokemon. They did it for Wiglet, without even revealing Wagtrio, by the way. They did it for Grafii. They did it for uh, uh, Grievard. Yeah, they, they did it for, for like, several Pokemon without revealing their evolved forms or their pre-evolved forms, which is weird. And this is basically what they did here with uh, Poltergeist. I mean, I like the name. And I did say that I love Paul T. Geist, the, uh, uh, the Galarian v variant, but, I mean, how important is this Pokemon going to be to the story that we're getting so much backstory and lore for this one Pokemon without even showing us the Prevo or the Evo, if it has one, so... I'm guessing, I mean, it's pretty obvious that if there is a Sinistee variant, it's going to be a chipped cop shaped like the one in this trailer. But, I don't know. I guess it's an awful lot of uh, backstory and lore just for this one Pokemon. So, I'm hoping it's important to the story. I don't know. It seems like the Pokemon company really went out of their way to promote this Pokemon. And you know what? I didn't think grass grass ghost made sense. I was thinking more grass, sorry, more ghost dark because of the bad temper of the tea master, of the or gra or ghost poison because it saps people's. I, I don't know. It'll, I guess it'll have to depend on the move set and the ability. But I love the animation part of it. I love that they're treating this very seriously. Just you know what. It feels a little ridiculous that they're putting this much effort into just one Pokemon. You know, I'd rather just, just have a full-on trailer with several Pokemon, new Pokemon in it. But that's just me. Uh, that's my, what I think of the new Pokemon Poltergeist. What did you all think about it? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you some other time. Goodbye. Oh, hold on. Gotta catch them all. Hi there! Thank you for watching the video, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends. I'll see you next time!